Hi everyone, I'm going to make a couple videos of my model horse collection tour. I've had a few people ask for it and um, I've also had people ask if I could explain um, certain molds or model release names. So I will try my best to remember what their release name was. I probably won't remember all of them, but I'll try to mention what mold they are. That way, if you ever want to look them up, there is a website called Identify Your Briar and it's pretty easy to find them on that. So we'll start over in this corner. So I'm pretty sure this Peterstone Thoroughbred is a da, meaning a designer horse. So you can pick certain colors um, and markings because I don't think I found him on the Peterstone reference site. And then we have Jubilation, uh, Tallulah Harley D Zip. And then we have Newsworthy and Baloo, Enchanted Forest. And then the new um, Long Mane Connemara, uh, Best of British. And then there's a bunch of random stable mates below them. And then I have, Ele I think it's Eleanor or Elsinor. And then Jesse, a very old Andalusian, like Lusitano mold. It, they might call him Pluto. Um, and I'm not sure exactly what this release was called. And then Banks Vanilla. Vallegro. Um, this is a very old Peter Stone model and it was more like a regular run that was available um, from Hand HWC. This is the new Icelandic Pony Bay and then this was the American Quarter Horse Anniversary Grula release. So these are Peter Stone ishes. I know the one on the far right's name is Crayer. Um, I can't remember the gray appy in the middle or the brindle chestnut. Um, then we have Harper Dionysus, I think his name was. And then we have the Gula Pinto um, Earth on Fetty, um, was a Briarfest release. And Travis from Tractor Supply. This was like a pony that was released with like a halter and like a bag. I don't think it had a special name, it's a Connemara pony. And then I think Starlight and Flash. I'm trying to remember if it was Frosty or Flurry. I can't remember it, but I have the other one. This is the classic Shire um, A and B mold, if I can't remember them for you guys. Because some of them don't have release names. They're just like Shire. And then we have Sansella, um, Q Vadas, and then Sprinkles. And then below them are a bunch of like foals. So this is like the Mustang full mold. So these are Peter Stone American Saddlebreds. But that's Nakoda and Pop the Cork Glossy um, Dark Bay. And then we got a Peter Stone Pony and um, some sh Shelex and Safari mules and donkeys and zebras. And then um, I have Henry the Fjord and um, I feel like something, his name's like something Wolf, the Gray Fjord, and then the new Fjord that was released, um, I can't pronounce his name, and then uh, we have the Mule Mold, and I have a variety, I have the Dun, the Gray, um, the Spotted, and then this is the Quarter Horse Gelding Mold, and um, one of the, the Dark Bay was like a Bonanza release, and then the one with the blue halter um, was a Briarfest um, surprise model. Just random Briar stable mates mixed in. And then these are more Peter Stone ponies. The Briar Zebra. And then behind the zebra is um, Heartland Equality. And then a classic, um, I'm trying to remember, it was a more recent release from the Briar website. Uh, it's the Bay Pinto. And then I have uh, Bella and Mozart, the little unicorn pair. I have Anna and Tuari. I have the Halflinger Mare and uh, the Dartmoor Mare in full. And then Hansel and Gretel. Those were the first of that mold. Sorry if you can't really see them. And then we'll kind of keep wrapping around. And that's the Peter Stone. Um, it's like the action quarter horse and I think his release name was like Dave and then uh, this one I'm trying to remember his name I can't quite remember it but um, it's the same mold as a Peter Stone and then um, 
this was a collector's club release, the one that's like bright gold. And I think his like, his name was, I can't quite remember how to pronounce it. It was something funky. And then there's a couple foals mixed in, classic foals. And then um, this was from the Smoke and Mirror set. They're like on the Just a Dream mold with the turned head. Sarah Monette. I think that's how you say her name, Make-A-Wish, and in front of them is like uh, Gigi and Valentine, I forgot which one's which, uh, that mold, um, and with the Zinetta's full, and then, um, I'm trying to remember this one's name, Gold Raven, that's what she was called, this one was from the World Equestrian Games, that gray one, and then we have um, S, Just a Dream in the back, and then I have um, Child Star, uh, he came in the set from Briar Fest uh, with Stage Mum, and he's the gray foal in the front. I have a random classic, and then behind that, there's a lot of classics back there, and they're all like the Maureen Love mold, so they're all like the older thoroughbreds, like War Admiral and all that. It's hard to see them all because they're all behind, um, but there's a lot of them. So War Admiral, Sea Biscuit all those molds back there, but they're the old Maureen Love classics. So these are the, the donkey molds, so Brighty's the one on the left, and then um, the one on the right's the newer um, release donkey. I think Cossetti was her release name. And then we have Icicle, the gray ranch horse, and then we have sixes and sevens, uh, Smoke and Double Dutch, and then just the Yes, I can. Cantering Welsh Pony. Autumn Shimmer. I think that's what her name was. The one on the left. I love her. Um, and then the new... Um, I don't think this one had a release name. She was like a Brabant Cross, they called her. Uh, and then we have Kong. We have um, the original Wixom. And then we have uh, Paddington's something. Um, and then... This was the Dutch Harness Horse, the bay one. I can't remember the original release name. And then that was the J.C. Penny Gray American Saddlebred. And then the glossy one on the end was a Briarfest release. I forget his name, but that's the American Saddlebred mold. Um, and then the drafters are the Wixom mold, just in case you guys want to look any of them up. And then I'll try to get in there so you guys can see. But those are all Peter Stone weanlings. We have, I think it's Emma, the new little fell pony. And then Wapiti, I think that's how you say his name. I'm trying to remember all of them because there's a lot. And I think Buttercream, Idacus, Snowman, uh, Brunello. And then tucked in the back is the Zippo mold. And we have the picture, like, perfect... Zippo in the front, the Dunn, and then um, I think Ricky's Little Rocker or something is the Appaloosa one, and then the way back is um, Max, something Max, <laughs> Fleet Street Max, there we go. This is the Big Ben mold, if you want to look them up, and um, the Canadian musical ride model, and then Double Exposure is the Dunn in the middle, and then I think it was make a wish a wish on a wish upon a star or something was the gray spotted one i'm trying to remember what his actual release name was they had a lot of very similar release names that year for Briarfest. and then this one's foiled again um a peter stone um old like um western pleasure quarter horse and then this was shire mare released off the briar website um and then Cheerio was a Briarfest special run, the one that's like a Gula Pinto. And then this one was Smoke and Mirror. We have Celtic Selenero. Um, then we have Risling, which is a Briarfest special run. And then I think this one was like Hus Hustril Minstrel or something. I don't know. It was, um, this is the Celtic Selenero mold. And then this was Cloud Nine, Peter Stone Pony. And then. Um, Asquire is the mold of this Arabian, the little short one, and, um, the release name of this one, why can't I remember it? I can't remember it for some reason. Um, and then this is the Totalis mold, and, um, the black one is Totalis, and the one on the right, 
his name, I'm trying to remember, was it Fabian or something? I'm trying to remember his release name. Um, and then there's some stable mates and classic foals mixed in. And then we have the old timer mold, which is the one with like the halter and harness on. And um, these were releases off the Briar website. They were from like the warehouse. They're probably still on there. And um, I'm trying to remember. They didn't really have... I think particular names when they released them from the warehouse they were kind of like almost like re-releases and then we have the Briar Paso Fino and or the Peruvian Paso I'm trying to remember what they call that one I can't remember the dark Peruvian Paso for some reason that one's not a super old release either and then the I think it's Sushin and Lee Fire. I can't, I can't pronounce anything, <laughs> but that was the re-release from the Briar Warehouse. And then this is a Peter Stone Arabian Pinto and his name was Ragtime. Marabella is the release mold of this one on the end. And, um, this was something Faith. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> and this was a Mustang mare, um, that this particular mold was after. Picasso. Don't look twice. 